and that is that over her 11 years, the gap between the richest 10 percent and the poorest 10 percent in this country has widened substantially. Living standards falling for 44 out of 45 months under this Prime Minister, unmatched since records began. No amount of smoke and mirrors can hide it. Inequality is not falling, it's rising. One million people per year in this country rely on food banks in order to feed themselves. And we are one of the richest countries. Four and a half million children in Britain are living in poverty. We've got an explosion of zero hours contracts and, as Len pointed out, a race to the bottom on pay, job security and workplace rights. We have, and there are many complex reasons why people go to, go to food banks. Uh, ...such as men are mentally retarded or they have genuine problems and are genuine social cases. Others are not. But during the lifetime of this government, a great many more hostel places have been built so that we now have more than 21,000 hostel places in London. You look at basic pay together with progression pay, actually for around half of NHS staff, they have an uh, annual increase of around, uh, on average, 3% 3, 3 rather than the, the, uh, just the 1% basic pay. Yeah. Yeah. We won't be fooled again! Minister still insisting that the National Health Service is safe in her hands. <laughs> when there's chronic funding for the country, and indeed in the Sheffield Area Health Authority, over one million underfunding, which has resulted in 108 beds being closed <coughs> and plans to close two more hospitals, surely the Prime Minister should have the courage to accept that it's better for her to lose her faith than patients to lose their lives. Last week, Mr Speaker, 485 people in England spent more than 12 hours on trolleys in hospital corridors. The Red Cross described this as a humanitarian crisis. I called on the Prime Minister to come to Parliament on Monday. She didn't. She sent the Health Secretary. But does she agree with him that the best way to solve the crisis of the four-hour wait is to fiddle the figures so that people are not seen to be waiting so long on uh, trolleys in NHS hospitals. There are people queuing up out there for food on a Sunday. They've come, and some of them may have come from many distances. So if we have our last half year figures, half a million, of which a high proportion of those are children, and the last full year, a million people. And I'm a volunteer in two food banks. I see people across the spectrum coming in daily um, who are asking for food. Well, at 20 minutes to five, we can now say the decision taken in 1975 by this country to join the common market has been reversed by this referendum uh, to leave the EU.